Good morning YouTube, we are back on Authentic Details, continuing on with the 458 restoration, and today we're finally gonna get some PPF on it. So yes, Expel stepped up, they hooked us up with some PPF, and we're putting on this new product, so they actually have some new stuff that's even more durable. So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. It's already looking absolutely gorgeous, so they're done with the paint correction. Let's take a look at this. It's, it's ridiculous, the car looks like a totally new car. So they did the paint correction last night. Actually, they sent me a video washing the car about like 10 o'clock at night and holy crap, it looks amazing. There is basically no swirl marks anywhere. They even got out like this side view mirror had some scratches where clearly the last owner had, I don't know, hit a garage door or something. The scratches are gone except for a tiny little bit right there, which I'm assuming is just too deep to get out. They filled in a lot of the paint that was missing. You remember the back of the wheels? Yeah, look at this. It's actually red again. <laughs> it's no longer white. So the one thing that we haven't done yet is we need to send off this piece out to Burley's to get painted. So we're gonna actually remove the entire glass piece today. Otherwise, everything else is looking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like I said, no swirl marks anywhere. The paint actually looks like paint. It's actually red and it's shiny. Oh my God. This is definitely the best the car has ever looked. And if you remember the last video, we were cleaning the leather interior and holy crap, now that it's had time for the leather conditioner to soak in, it's no longer glossy and it just feels so good. And it smells so nice in here. Oh my God, my interior just looks immaculate. This is crazy. Like, I can't believe this is even my car. Hey, shop dog. Shop dog is not a fan of the microphone. <laughs> he comes running away from the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to scare you, Bentley. All right, you guys remember Brad from Authentic Details, so go visit Authentic Details ATX on Instagram or AuthenticDetails.com. Mention my channel, they're gonna hook you up with 10% off your, your order or whatever service that they do for you. So they're amazing. The only ones I trust in town, the only ones I trust, period. And we even have people shipping their cars here. That's how awesome they are. Concentrating. Oh, come on. Concentrate. I'm telling you, this is so frustrating. <laughs> Just, yeah. So Authentic Details is hooking me up. They are providing me this service. Okay. So it's a sponsored video, but Authentic Details. Again, go check out AuthenticDetails.com. Look at this pattern. This is that mirror hole. Uh huh. So we've gone in. The green line is where it was. So we've gone in and made that minute adjustment where it was high Wow. on top of the mirror. Just that little tiny bit. And then here it was a little low. So we had made an adjustment up right there in that, that curved part. It's like so. ridiculous levels of perfection. Exactly. And now we're gonna just, we have just a bunch of scrap pieces of film that we'll use to plot pieces like this on. We'll so plot just it. test pieces. Yep, and it's considered trash after it's done. It's just for us to figure out what, what size that hole needs to be so we can get that really tight fit the pattern from DAP. This is from a 2010 car. So this is kind of the older way that the DAP system did. Now they've got them a lot tighter. Uh, but we know to test fit these older cars so that we can get the seams where we want them. So the gap around it was probably close to a quarter inch gap all the way around the mirror. And uh, now when we're done, you'll see it'll be pretty tight, I bet, on this one. Sweet. So let's plot it. You ready? It's so exciting. Mm. We're getting super close, microscopically close. Playing PPF Tetris to get it on the film to maximize efficiency. This is the true challenge. What level are you on now? Uh, this is level 15. Level 15 Tetris. Uh, almost there. All those years of being a kid with like Game Boy and shit are finally paying off. See, mom? Yeah, who, who would have thought? It was worth the money. Yeah. And the time I spent. Yeah. To play Tetris all those hours. Me too. Ah, yes, 
This is the new and improved Expel Ultimate. I saw that on the box. Ultimate plus 10 mil. 10 mils. So it's super thick. So what's the normal stuff? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. So, so we got, got an extra one and a half mil. Mm -hmm. Supposedly they claim that you're gonna be able to install it just as easy. Supposedly. Supposedly. That's your problem. That's my problem to figure out. <laughs> Not yours. I know. I'm gonna stand here and just watch. Occasionally uh, laugh. But throw then a I, few jokes our way. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be your comedic relief. You know, you can crack jokes at my expense, and I'll crack jokes at your expense. Thank it's you, it's yeah. mutual. I thought you were installing it. Uh, I mean, I don't want it to look like total this, shit. This was that, uh, we are on that internship where you work on your own car. I did yesterday. For it. I got the day off today. Oh, damn it. Pull yourself together, man. Getting it all set up to be cutting. Got the patterns all set up. Oh, here we go. So cool. All right, we're just doing a test fit. Yeah, we're gonna see if uh, there's supposed to be a difference in the gloss. It's supposed to be an improvement with this 10 mil. So we're gonna see if in fact- It looks better. It does have an improvement in gloss. Oh my God, that's much better. It's like invisible. The texture on this is completely different. It's significantly better. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Whoa. That stuff's really good. You can see just barely where it is right there. That's good news. Wow. That is amazing. That looks really that's, good. That's a significant improvement over the standard 8.5 mil. Yeah. And we heard rumors that it was supposed to be glossier, but man, that's a huge difference between the other stuff. This is my first time seeing it. I'm blown away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Yeah, this is new, new stuff. So. Yeah, we might be switching to all of this film for yeah. all of our installs. And once that dries, it's gonna look pretty amazing. And then we're gonna do that, that expel ceramic coating on yeah, top this of this. So this is the edge. You can't even see it. There, barely. Yeah, and if you go from the, do the look at the factory orange peel up here, up here then scroll the camera down to that. No so difference. Very, very minimal difference between the factory and that. Yeah. I'm very impressed. I can't wait to see your whole car in this stuff. Oh my God. I'm excited. And then with the coating on top, it's going to be super glossy. Yes. Oh yeah. So we're putting a, a special Expel ceramic coating made specifically for PPF. Yeah. So it's a, their fusion ceramic coating and they designed it just for the PPF. So you don't lose any self healing properties. Uh, so I'm excited to, to get that on here too. And so Dan had a good idea. We peeled the other piece off So I threw another one on because he wanted to see this film self heal. Let's try it I've got a, one of these little brass bristle brushes and I'm gonna give it a good scratch right here you Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, some of these might be too deep because I've got a there pretty, we go. pretty messed up brush right now oh, it's gone. There we go. So that was with this brush right here. Yeah. On that film. I'd love to see you try that on paint. <laughs> no, I will not do that on paint. Because <laughs> that's a lot of clear, cutting down clear coat to get that out. Yeah. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. So now you'll have this over your whole car. So if you wash it improperly or anything like that. Won't matter really. Heat gun or sun, any of those things and it'll just heal itself out. That's awesome. All right guys, so again, this is the new Expel Ultimate Plus. Yes, it's the ultimate and PPF protection, so it's 10 mils thick. As you can see, first of all, it resisted the scratches, and then once it did get scratched, you just take a little heat gun to it and the scratches are gone. And of course now, I don't have to worry about when I wash my car, I don't have to be quite so gentle and so concerned about scratching the paint and all that sort of stuff, because I'm not exactly easy on my car. And obviously it's gonna protect it from rock chips and all that sort of crap as well. Door dings, just a good idea to have this stuff on your car. So go check them out, expel.com. I know most of you have heard of Expel, so they're kind of like the Kleenex of the PPF world, right? Like, you know, people don't even say, I'm getting a PPF, they say, I'm getting Expel. So that's what we're doing. We're getting Expel.
day two. Good morning, YouTube. We're back at Authentic Details and we're gonna check on the progress of a 458 restoration, but Brad told me I'm not allowed to walk into the room yet. I'll let him explain. So we have a little surprise for you, Dan. I gotta say a small token of our appreciation for <laughs> just being an awesome dude. Oh. Bringing your dirty ass to our shop. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna take the camera from you and I wanna record your response on this surprise. Okay, all right, here you go. So come over here. All right, all right, I'm coming. Am I allowed to look? Yeah, you can look. Okay. It's it's not something you're gonna notice right away, but it's over here on this side. Okay, it's not the big black strip on the front. No, okay. it's definitely not that. No. <laughs> so we put your badges back on the side. Right over here. Oh. Dude. No way. Oh, dude. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, that's weird. So we had those made for you. Holy. To crap. brand your car. It's the same pin and frame of font? Same font and everything, so. Dude! Oh, that is so cool. Isn't that badass? Dude, that is super badass! Oh my god, thank you, sir. You bet, man. You oh bet. my god. It's been a pleasure. We've loved working with you, so we that thought is, we'd this, do like, I love little details like that. Small this. thing, and we thought someone's gonna see that and go, something's wait, different right wait there. Wait a minute, what that's is a little that? bit longer than pin and frame. Yeah, that's right, it looks different. Like, what is it? And then it's got normal guy super car on it. Oh, that's so badass. Dude, thank you. You dig it? <laughs> that's awesome. Who said, was that your idea? Yeah, that was oh, idea. Brad, you really do like me. I do, man. <laughs> You're a good dude. I thought about the idea and I, I, I had an ad come across my Instagram a long time ago. And I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly <laughs> what we can do to make this car just pop. That is so... So bad. You search for at least 30 minutes to find that website. Yeah. <laughs> what was the site? What was it? Yeah, where, where was it? I should have bookmarked it. And it, I mean, it's cool. You can get, you can get it done at this. I think the site was like my custom emblems or something. Oh, cool. And they laser cut them. You sent you tell them what you want to type. You can pick all these different types really? of fonts. And I said I wanted to match the Pen and Farina font. Do they do paint and everything? No, they just do oh, laser, it's only cut, laser stainless cut, stainless steel. I mean, that's solid stainless steel. It's not that cheap plastic stuff. Like no, that. I could feel it's like sharp. The edges are all like. You can tell they've been machined or like lasered or whatever. It's like, that's legit. And that has the film on it, by the way. The lowers has the, the new Oh, film the film's on it? Really super shiny stuff. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Oh, it's on here too, though, right? No. no, no? Oh, okay. And you can't even tell. <laughs> How about that? Apparently not. I, wow. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Just barely yeah, you can see it. For it. That's a good sign. Yep. Wow, yeah. Like, you can't see it. Oh, man, you got it all nice and rolled in there. Jeez. Fenders have it on too. The front on. fenders? Yeah, both the front. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still uh, doing some finalizing on them, but they're on. Damn. Oh, on. Oh. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't poke the hole. Dude. Don't poke the hole, dude. That is so cool. Oh, should we look at this? Oh, Apparently, nice. the uh, engine bay is all yeah. tidied up and beautiful. Up. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all shiny on the hoses and stuff. Yeah, and I try to wipe all the excess off just to let it look just Yeah, just like a slight black, gloss. You know, that's it. But it's all all done on there, all your hoses oh in there, God. down in there, it's all all done. Dude. The car is looking so good. Yeah. Coming along. Oh my god. Yeah, I kinda wrap into this body line here where the panels meet. Yeah, it's right there just before, before the radius. It. So if you look what he did over here, you'll see. Yeah, this one's pretty much done. Um I put the light back in and everything. Oh yeah, you can't even like, can't even hardly see the edge. You have to really look for the edge. And it's wrap, it wraps down in and makes a lot of them don't be wrapped. Yeah, that looks so really we were good. So we weren't going to be able to do it with this thicker belt, but... It's all good? It has j almost as much pliability and flexibility as this standard 8.5 with way more golfs. Yeah, this looks really shiny. So I was, that's the thing I was really blown away by was... Man, that looks... You know, if you took, if you look, I don't know, if, I wish there was a way to, you might be able to do that. Actually, do your slow roll over this, and then we can go to that Lamborghini, which is red, and it's got the 8.5, and you'll see oh, the texture the difference. difference. Sure, okay. Let's do that. And now. Oh, 
people start asking questions about you're going to say, why are you people, people, people are going to complain about everything you do. Pain. This is the world of YouTube. <laughs> they will find a reason to complain about like, something. He didn't touch up the rock chips. You didn't do this? You didn't do that? Ah. So we're actually going to try putting a piece of black vinyl. It's this is a, this is PPF, actually. It's still PPF, just Correct. tinted black. Yeah, so it's matte black, which matte goes black. pretty similar to this matte gray they have. Yeah. Caught a good number of chips, so this might help us hide that. Yeah, the, the goal was I didn't necessarily want to take off the bumper and get that spot repainted. So we're thinking this might be a temporary good solution that protects it from getting more chips and at least looks reasonably good for now. So far it's looking pretty good. Definitely hides the... You can't really see the divots and stuff. Yeah. Well, looks nice, actually. Yeah, that came out really good. I like it. Improvement. Sure. Yeah, yeah, much better than little spots of red everywhere. Ugh, look how bad it is. So we're doing a revision Ugh. to the original pattern so that it extends down here. Yeah, but I think that'll be... looks pretty good. Oh, it's much better. Ooh. It looks a lot better than the crappy gray. Sure does. Using a hypodermic needle to fix some PPF damage that was existing. <laughs> Ooh. The black looks so much better than the gray. Oh yeah. That looks sweet. <laughs>